Efren, thank you. A very early morning earthquake was felt across the Midlands. The 3.3 magnitude quake was centered near Algin. Here's News 19 meteorologist Alex Calamia with more. While many of us were in for a rude awakening last night, an earthquake hit Kershaw County again. This was a 3.3 at 1.32 in the morning at a depth of three kilometers below the surface. So it was a shallow earthquake, which means it was felt by many people. And that is what we're going to focus on. That 3.3 is the moment magnitude scale, but I want to focus on something called the community intensity scale, which takes your reports from the USGS and tries to quantify what that shaking felt like. And on this scale out of 10, it was a four, which includes light shaking, which is enough to wake some people up, make raggle noises. I heard all of this. I woke up in Northeast Columbia and also heard some raggle noises. I was not alone. There have been over 3000 reports to the USGS as of early Monday morning. These reports continue to fly in to the USGS. Uh, the most intense shaking was toward Lugoff, Elgin and Northeastern Columbia. You can see that's where that lighter shade of green is. Some of the zip codes that were under some of that more moderate shaking was toward the Elgin and Lugoff area. Zip codes 29045 and 29078. And then you can see those zip codes in northeastern Columbia also where some of that most intense shaking was. But all of Richland County, every zip code reported at least some shaking. Same for Kershaw County, same for much of Lexington and parts of Eastern Fairfield County. So this now makes 21 earthquakes in the year 2022, and most of them have been part of this swarm. 17 out of the 21 earthquakes in South Carolina this year were all in Kershaw County. This swarm started back on December 27th. If you remember, that was also a 3.3, and then there were multiple aftershocks following it that were smaller. So we could expect something similar with this, a 3.3 this morning and probably more to follow. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia.